on your last ten dollars, why would you say yes to going to Chick Fil A? You you know you could barely afford that sandwich itself. You know you had to just get the entree. You know you had to. I just got paid. Yeah. Oh girl, you got paid. You know. Big <laughs> Ever been in a situation where you're on your last ten dollars and your friend wants to get food and you still go anyway? <laughs> Being broke is temporary, but getting food is forever. Have you ever been broke? And I mean, broke is a joke. <laughs> yeah, you. <laughs> well, this video's for you, and this isn't a joke. The struggle is real. So somebody told me you was trying to get the bag, trying to run it up, trying to stack your paper. You came to the right video. I'm, I'm here to give y'all a game. The biggest thing that we struggle with in college, let's not lie, being broke in college. You know, the broke college student. You ever been broke as a joke? Like, <laughs> like, <laughs> so broke is funny. <laughs> it's not funny, it hurts. It's a struggle, it's really a struggle. What's up YouTube, it's your girl AK and we are back with another video. I'm here to give y'all some tips so you know, so y'all can level up, get a little smart with y'all money so you won't be broke as a joke in college. So let's get into it. What's up YouTube, AD Autumn here in the cut. I meant to also mention that this video was provided by you guys. So I sent a poll on my Instagram to decide what kind of video should I make and y'all decided what video I was making today. So if you want to be involved with things like that, with deciding what goes on this channel, make sure you follow my Instagram participate in my polls and we can keep the dice rolling with the videos anyway now let's get back into the video one way to avoid being broke is a joke in college is to work before you come to college you know you gotta save up you gotta stack up before you come you know you can't just come over here broke empty pockets like no we're not doing that so i know people who work seasonal jobs during like the summer or winter time they work and they just stack up all their money and then they come to college and that's when they kind of you know spend it slowly as they go throughout the semester which is smart because a pro to this is that you can really focus on your books you know you're not worried about having to clock in and do all this during school time like i'm about my books i'm about to focus you know and that's great now some cons to this could be maybe you may not like spending your entire summer working i mean it's up to you some people end up not doing anything during the summer so they don't mind working but if you're the kind of person that doesn't like to like work in the summer you want to have fun with your friends this may not be the right option for you hey hey pick me up stop looting pick me up i'm down you still lose my body pick me up also another potential con is that if you're not good with tracking your money like budgeting like saving your money this may not be the route for you because like i said this is money that you grew and stacked when you're in school you're not working you know, this is you gotta watch how much you're spending. So if you're not good at budgeting, I don't know about this option, but you might have to listen to this next one I got for you. The second way to avoid being broke as a joke in college is to work while you're in college. There's two different ways you could do this. You could get a on-campus job. With on-campus jobs, the pros about this is that they're on campus, you know, it's close, it's a walking distance. If you don't have a car, that's fine. I can walk to my job. That's not a problem. Another plus is that the university is required to work around your, your student schedule, right? So any times where you have to go to class, they're not going to schedule you. They're not possessed against the, the rules for one. You won't have to worry about any times conflicting with each other. Now, a con about having an on-campus job is that I'm not going to lie to you. On-campus jobs don't pay that much. Don't get me wrong. It's nice to have some money in your pocket. It's better to have nothing, right? Like, I had nothing. <laughs> I don't want to go back. You feel me? I'm just saying, when there's an on-campus job, it's not going to be as much as an off-campus job. Working off-campus, the biggest plus about working off-campus is that you get paid more money, you know? Like, you're not getting paid that, that basically minimum wage. You can make your mm, $10, $11, $12 an hour, wherever you want to, wherever you're making, you know, at the off-campus job. You're not making $12 an hour on campus unless you're a tutor. If you become like an SI tutor or some kind of tutor, I think you can make 12 an hour, but your hours are cut shorter to catch that. But if you're working off campus, you can really run it up. Like, low key, you can really stack. 
Now, some cons about working an off-campus job is that you need a car. There's no if, ands, or buts about it. Like, it's off-campus. You can't walk to Walmart. Like, that ain't gonna work. You could try to catch the bus, but I, mm -mm. I know here, the bus system is not good. You're gonna be late every day to work. Another con about working an off-campus job is that there's a chance that you could have a conflict with your schedule. They do not care. They will schedule you or they will forget if you don't constantly remind them. So that's a con about working an off-campus job. However, that can be avoided with good communication. Okay, so now you might be saying, Anum, who said I had to work for somebody to make some money? And you're right. Who said you had to work for somebody? Go ahead, Miss Entrepreneur or Mr. Entrepreneur. Start a side hustle. Whatever skill you are good at, monetize that. There are so many different side hustles you can do in college. It's ridiculous. Like, okay, the biggest side hustle you can do is doing hair. Like, I'm telling you, everybody and their mom was looking for a retwist, looking for somebody to braid their hair, they need their box braids, they need their lace wig, like, lace wig, they need their lace lay, you feel me? Like, they trying to look good. People are looking for convenience. When it comes to college, we don't have cars. All of us don't have cars. If I can go to this girl dorm and she gonna give me a retwist and I'm looking at slay, I'm gonna pay her. I'm gonna pay her good mm. money. Also, ladies, do not be retwisting these dudes' hair for free. Like... Who they think they are? Some of y'all be trying to get some free retwists or braids or whatever. And y'all get mad when they want you to pay them. Like, huh? Hey, say shoddy. Hey, uh, you know how to do that? Yeah. Oh, you do? Oh, all right. Um, you can retwist dress, though. Ladies. Okay, cool. It's gonna be $45. $45? Baby, $45 is cheap. How much you want me to charge you? Man, I'll I pay you $10. Bruh. Nah, because I ain't got time to play with you. Man, you tripping, man. Whatever. I'll find somebody else. This is a great place to market your business. Now that I'm thinking about it, like, all these people with no cars. <laughs> Other side hustles could be photography, selling art if you're like good at making art, or my fellow computer science major, freelancing websites, go on Fiverr. If you're good at editing videos, like do that, you know? You can go on Fiverr, look for people who need an editor, and you can edit their YouTube videos or whatever they're doing, and you can make great money off of that. Or let's say you're not good at anything. I don't have no talent. <laughs> I'm talented. You can start like a drop shipping business or something. Like you can start a business like that. You don't have to be talented, but just know there's always a hustle that you can start on the side. And the biggest pro about having a side hustle is for one, you decide your own hours. Two, ain't nobody taking those taxes out show your paycheck. Like that's that's pure profit right there. You feel me? Three, you have the best place to market yourself. You're in an area where people don't have cars and they need this stuff done and you're convenient? You're about to make a bag. I can't think of any cons. I really can't. I can't think of any cons. Like, start a side hustle. I don't see why you're not starting a side hustle. Start your side hustle right now. In the fourth way to not be broke as a joke in college. Y'all, this point is very, very important. It's not about how much money you make, okay? It's about how much money you can keep. If you can't save and budget properly, you still broke as a joke. Like, think about this, right? You can make all the money in the world, but if you blow it every time you get it, you still living paycheck to paycheck. You not really living. Are you really financially free? No. I got you. When your friends call you and they're like, hey girl, you wanna go go get some food? Tell them no. Because you broke as a joke. You not trying to be broke as a joke. We trying to save our money. If you on your last $10, why would you say yes to going to Chick-fil-A? You you know you could barely afford that sandwich itself. You know you had to just get the entree. You know you had to. And to help you, try to find friends that have the same mindset as you. You know, they like to be frugal. They like to save money too. Another way you can save money is to keep track of your subscriptions. We know you got the free trials. Girl, for one, don't forget about your free trials. Fresh your dates down. And then two, just in general, any subscriptions that you have that's just going, make sure you keep track of that. Don't apply for all these things and then you're wondering why all this money's leaving your account. You're not tracking your bills. You know, you have to be on point with that. You might think you have some McDonald's money, but your McDonald's money just went to Netflix and Hulu and Paramount and HBO Max and you didn't even know. Hey, girl. Hey, girl. Uh, you trying to go Smoothie King, girl? You wanna go Smoothie King? Yeah, girl, I wanna go Smoothie King. I wanna try the mango okay, smoothie. Okay, I'm down. I'm down. Yeah, I heard What's they up? had mangoes and strawberries. Oh, let me check my account real quick. Girl, I just got paid, yeah. Ooh, girl, you got paid. You already know. <laughs> Big bucks or whatever. Oh, let me check my account real quick, though. Go ahead, girl. Check your account, girl. Yeah, I just got paid. Yeah, yeah. Big baller. Purr, 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 purr. Girl, I can't wait to drink that smoothie. That's what they gonna be so good. What? Girl, what happened, girl? Netflix. Hulu. 
Disney Plus. I didn't even know I had Disney Plus. Yeah, girl, you remember when you was at my house and was watching uh, Princess and the Frog? Shay just took $30 on my account. $30? Yeah. Girl, you supposed to cancel that. I thought I you thought canceled. I canceled it too. I guess I didn't. Nah, you didn't because you they took your money. I know that hurts your pockets. Mm, 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 mm. I mean, you still want to go to Smoothie King? It's just Smoothie King. Like, and it's five dollars Friday, so you got five dollars, right? No. You got five dollars, right? No. Hello. Another way you can save money on these subscriptions is to look for student discounts, y'all. Even these companies know that we be struggling. They know we struggling. They give us discounts. And the last thing I can say about how to save money is just to focus on what are your needs and what are your wants. We're over here with some new shoes, you know, new fresh fit, you know, first day fit, posting on the ground. But we ain't got no notebooks. Bruh. We ain't got no pencils. <laughs> we ain't got no water in the fridge. We, we dehydrated. So definitely make sure that you are keeping your priorities in check. Okay, YouTube, well, that's the end of this video. Thank you so, so much for tuning in. If you want any more college finance videos, like any ideas for college finance videos, drop them down below and let me know what do you want to see because i have some ideas but i want to know what y'all are thinking and what y'all want to see school is starting very very soon my first day class tomorrow <laughs> i'm ready um but yeah i hope you have a blessed day subscribe because it's free <laughs> all right like the video if you liked it and <laughs> that's it bye